Good morning all of you. Let us take a look at this question from laws of motion. So he is saying that a car moves with a constant tangential acceleration 0.8 meters per second square. So the car here is moving with constant tangential acceleration 0.8 meters per second square which means its speed is increasing at a rate of 0.8 meters per second square. It is moving in a circle of radius 40 meters. So the radius of the circle in which it is moving is 40 meters. The coefficient of friction between car wheels and the surface is 0 0.2. So it is given that the coefficient of friction mu equals to 0 0.2 between car wheels and surface. What distance will the car ride without sliding if it starts from rest? So if this car starts from rest, what distance will it cover without sliding? Okay, so you see that the speed of this car is increasing. So again I am playing it. It is starting from rest and uh, it is going on speeding up. You would have noticed something similar say when you are going in a turn like this right if you are going in a turn like this and if you cross a certain speed the car skids so that is what is asked in this question when does it skid or after how much distance does it skid off the road let us try to understand why the car actually skids in the first place so i am marking the accelerations of the car here using these arrows okay so different arrows here represent different accelerations that we will be marking now so the red arrow that you see here represents tangential acceleration of the car the yellow arrow that you are seeing here represents the radial acceleration of the car the blue arrow here represents the total acceleration of the car which equals the tangential acceleration plus the radial acceleration of the car. Let us now understand why the car skids off the road. Now, because of this tangential acceleration, the speed of the car goes on increasing. As the speed of the car goes on increasing, you see its radial acceleration also increases. The radial acceleration is v square by r. So when the speed of the car goes on increasing, its radial acceleration also increases. So the total acceleration of the car is given by tangential plus radial accelerations. This is constant, but the radial acceleration is going on increasing. So the total acceleration of the car continuously increases. Now can you think for a minute and uh, tell which force actually provides this acceleration to the car? It is a friction force between the car tires and the road which provides this acceleration to the car. So here friction is helping the car accelerate. We can write frictional force equals to mass of the car into the acceleration of the car. We can write that this friction it is a static friction which is acting between the car tires and the road that is lesser than or equals to mu into n where mu is the coefficient of friction and n is a normal reaction between the car tires and the road. So I am rearranging the terms here. So we can write m a total is lesser than or equal to mu into n. So the normal reaction force is equal to mg in this case m and m we are cancelling out in this step and we get a total is lesser than or equals to mu into g. So we find that the maximum acceleration this car can have is mu into g and above that the car will slip over or skid. So let us have a look at the schematic.
So you observe the speed of the car is continuously increasing due to tangential acceleration. As speed is increasing, the radial acceleration is also continuously increasing. So you see the radial acceleration is continuously increasing. The total acceleration is a vector sum of tangential and radial accelerations. So when the tangential acceleration comes to a maximum value of mu g, the car will slip. Let us now calculate the value of distance covered by car when it slips. So when the acceleration total of the car is mu g, it slips. We have also discussed that the total acceleration vector equals to tangential acceleration vector plus radial acceleration vector. As these both vectors here are perpendicular to each other, we can write a total square equals to a tangential square plus a radial square. Substituting the values which are given, so it is given mu equals to 0 0.2 and g equals to 10 meters per second square the tangential acceleration is given as 0.8 meters per second square say the car slips after traveling a distance s so the speed of the car is increasing due to tangential acceleration so we can use the formula v square minus u square equals to 2 as and directly from there we can write v equals to root 2 a tangential into s where s is a distance it travels substituting v equals to root 2 a tau into s in this equation and r equal to 40 meters here the only variable is this s so when we put these values in the equation here we get the value of s as 45.82 meters so this is the answer to the question.